Okay, so let's look at the circumstance where we're multiplying fractions. Okay, so up here we have the general form where we have A on B times C on D equals A times C on B times D. So when we're multiplying one fraction, A on B, by another fraction, C on D, we just have to multiply the numerators together, A times C, and the denominators together. So for example, let's say we have three quarters times by um, two thirds. Okay, the way we're going to solve this answer is just do three times two, the numerators times each other, and the denominators times one another. Three times two is six, and four times three is 12. Okay, you will need to simplify that, um, and that's just going to be simplified to a half. Six on 12 is the same as a half. Okay, let's look at another example, but this time with an improper fraction. Let's say we've got one and a quarter, and we're timesing that by uh, five sevenths. Okay, so the very first thing that we need to do is change this to be an improper fraction. At the moment, where my mouse is right now, that's a mixed number. We need to make that a fraction, uh, an improper fraction. So let's do that. Uh, I'll just draw a circle around this first. Let's do that over here. Okay. So what we mean when we have one and a quarter, this is equal to one plus one and a quarter. And that one, we want to write with a denominator of four. So the way we do that is we just go this number here times this number here. One times four. So this is equal to four, and it has a denominator of four. Four divided by four is equal to one. And we're adding one on four. Now we can perform this addition because we have two, numerate, two denominators that are the same, four and four. So four on four plus one on four, four plus one is just five. Okay, so now we have five on four, times five on seven. So five times five is 25, four times seven is 28, 25 or 28, okay? All right, one more example. You might have just a number, four times by three fifths, okay? Another example. In this second part, we just have a number there times by a fraction. You just have to multiply the number by the numerator. So you just have 4 times 3 on 5, okay, which is equal to 12 on 5. Okay, so that's how we multiply fractions. See if you can get those notes uh, down now.